Hello Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. Welcome to my channel. I am T. Erica Love. How are you all doing? I hope that you all are doing wonderful, doing fine, loving yourself, loving others, um, being grateful for the now. All right, we're going to be doing some love messages for Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. All right, if you all or it's your first time here with me welcome i hope you all enjoy it here um if you really enjoy it hit the subscribe button give me some thumbs up comment in the comment section i greatly appreciate it if you all are returning hello welcome back uh, thank you all for joining me these messages may or may not resonate with every pisces aries cusper and your situation and love if you find that these messages do not resonate at all um, you can check your moon rising venus sign here there you may find messages that might fit your situation here and might resonate okay all right pisces aries cuspers let's see what's going on with you all in love Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, in love. What is going on here in their connections with their love interests? See, Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, you have renew and adventure. So a return of passions and play. Community is healing, laughter, travel, and new things can re-spark your love life here. So could be, uh, you could have a return of some passions and play. Um, this connection could be moving towards something more light and fun here. Renew and adventure this connection here and the way you do that is By adding new things here laughter Traveling all right, you got lessons of Jupiter align demonstrate and express your values and beliefs You have learned about love be open to new ways the results are healing and an expansion here So Jupiter is all about expansion here. All right, so be open to new ways of love here. Align and demonstrate and express the values and beliefs you have learned about love. All right. You have forgive. So forgiveness is a liberating choice. You all are needing to forgive here in order to continue to move forward. Whether you're forgiving a person, forgive yourself, forgiving situations that don't even have to do with um, this situation here. You have past life soulmate. You've had many past lives together. So for some, you could be dealing with someone that you have had many past lives together here with. Okay. You all have soul imprints. So unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritance are affecting this situation here. All right. You have telepathy. So this connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond here. All right. And you have spiritual mission. Okay. So this connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in higher realms. So you could be dealing with someone that um, you have been dealing with for, for a while now. Um, some you um, you have had many past lives with this with this person here. Okay. You're still working on healing some things. Dealing with karmic patterns and unresolved wounds here all right but this is a strong telepathic and empathic soul bond here all right and this this connection supports energy healing here all right so let's see who are you all in this connection Who is this Pisces, Aries, Cusper in this connection? And who is their person? 
Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. All right, tell me about this Pisces, Aries, Cusper and this connection here. Okay, you have made in here, so some of you all could be a little younger. All right, single here. You have the caregiver, okay? So Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. You all are a caregiver, very nurturing here, caring. Oh, you have mystic here. So you all could be sweet and compassionate, but have... Um, Could have some things going on behind the scene that is not not so uh, sweet and compassionate. Okay, you have Earth here, so you all could be focused on your pinnacles, or um, maybe for some, be a little, uh, you know, like fixed or a bit stubborn here in your ways Pisces Aries cuspers you have intuitive here so you all um, are intuitive okay let's see tell me about Pisces Aries cuspers person here okay you got detective so you could be dealing with someone who likes to figure some things out um, someone who's always looking for something here okay you have the wizard all right so this wizard is someone who's very smart here okay very intelligent but the wizard is someone who is cunning here all right, someone who could be um, has a criminal mind. Okay, um, got the beauty. So your person could be someone who's very beautiful, or you feel is very beautiful. All right, good looking, easy on the eyes here. You have introvert here, so your person could be one that is maybe an introvert to themselves. All right, a bit of a loner here. And your person got clinger. So you could be dealing with a clinger here as well. All right, let's get the overall energy of this connection with Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, and their person. Overall energy of the connection. Overall energy of this connection here with Pisces, Aries, Cusper, and their person in love. change in direction here so this connection could be going in some type of change of direction all right got mature men this could be you or your person this is someone who's possibly dark haired who is down to earth easy going and has a great sense of humor here all right you have perfect time in here so you're needing to wait for perfect time in here it's time for action so stop putting off something that you want or need to do Okay, if you're needing to do something, um, go ahead and do it. Um, otherwise, if it's in regards to this connection, perfect timing, wait for a perfect timing here. All right, you have deception here. So someone or something is not quite what it seems. 
someone is not being quite honest here within this connection okay you have health here all right so someone could be focused on their health or this is you know um someone is wanting a healthy relationship here a healthy more healthy connection here okay you have action here so there will be some type of action being taken towards some new beginnings here all right and we have quiet reflection here all right so take time to steal your mind and meditate trust your inner voice here with this new beginnings when a door of opportunity opens up it is not always golden or pretty looking you need to pay attention and don't overlook you know what don't overlook anything pay attention and know that you're on the right path here all right Someone is going to want to take some action here, maybe because of some type of deception or taking action towards coming out of deception here. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's get the kiss, Meg. What's going on here between Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, and their person and its connection? What is going on here with Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, and their person and its connection? Last shuffle. All right, we have strength here. So you needed to use your courage and your vision here in your endurance. All right. Okay, you got the Queen of Cups. You could be one that is got that again very intuitive here. This is someone who's intuitive, um, compassionate. You got the two of wands here. So you could be planning for the future here, making some type of decisions, needing to wait. All right. Got the eight of wands. So there would be some forward movement here, some quick action towards you making this choice that you're needing to make the balance is some balance that is needed here within this connection all right there's a there's not enough um there needs to be a mutual give and take here all right someone is wanting more support here from the others all right got the lovers here so this is a connection this is some type of relationship here that you're needing to make some type of choices here. All right. Got the king of pentacles. This is someone who's a provider, a protector and abundant here. All right. Got the ace of pentacles. So um, could be manifesting here. There are some new financial opportunities that is coming in for one of you all or the both of you all here. All right got the three of pinnacles this is about teamwork this is about collaborating um growing here all right could be at work or within this connection okay got the seven of cups so someone in this connection maybe has a lot of choices here okay there is some choices that needs to be made maybe have a lot of opportunities here okay maybe have different suitors here all right someone could be an illusion in an illusion here all right got the ten of swords so this is about some type of painful endings um going through some type of breakdown here could be mentally all right and giving birth to a new opportunity here uh could be 
finding out that you are with child for some of you all or this is really um, giving fertility to something new all right with the magician here this is manifesting and creating here all right could be um, one is really focused on their pinnacles got the page of pinnacles here so I uh, could be receiving some news about money all right all right is there any more here all right or receiving some news that will help you to with this three of ones see what it is have more well, see what it is uh, that you're wanting to do in life, okay? Um, having foresight on what it is that you're needing to do in this connection. All right, let's read the energies here. Okay. We have Leo here. Scorpio energy. Aries energy. Sagittarius uh, Capricorn Capricorn Gemini Taurus uh, Scorpio Okay, I'm still learning, y'all. Yeah. Huh? Aries here again. Uh, Virgo and Gemini energy here. Libra. And Taurus energy here. Gemini energy here. Scorpio energy. Capricorn energy. Okay. All right, let's get some clarification here. On this connection. Clarifying this connection for Aries, Pisces, Aries, Cuspers in that person. Okay, you have gate closed. So someone might not be quite ready yet here to open up to a um, full-blown relationship here. All right, got gate is open. So someone in the connection is ready for this connection for a full-blown relationship. All right. So both of you all is probably needing to get on the same page here. That's that six of pentacles. All right. Um. Okay, you got planning ahead, so someone in the connection could be expecting a child from this person, uh, finding out that you are with child, okay, or that is what you are wanting here. All right, got the divine masculine here. So there's a lot of masculine energy here within this connection here. All right, you have trust issues. Could be that this divine masculine in the connection is having some trust issues here. Okay, you have soulmates. All right, so for some could be dealing with your soulmate here. That came up twice. All right, have come to me. So someone is could be energetically calling the other to them here, all right, and giving a gift. Um, one of you could be giving a gift or receiving a gift here from your person. All right, let me know. Okay. So we're getting some messages of love. Before we close this out here. All 
All right. You have obsession here. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts here. All right. You have soulmate three times. All right. So your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Really message. Hold on. All right. Got it. Okay. What fell flew out is trust. All right. So it is safe to trust in this situation. All right, you have second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance here. Okay, so someone is going to be coming in, offering that gift here. Gift could be an apology here. Could be an actual gift, okay, because they're wanting a second chance here. All right, you have go slow. So take time to get to know each other a little better. Wait for that perfect timing, but go slow. All right, decision here. Okay, so it is time to decide about this relationship. All right, so someone has um, some choices, some decisions that need to be made here. All right, and you have integrity. So to help you to decide what it is you're needing to do, you can ask yourself, does this situation, does this person align with my morals, with my values here? Okay. All right, Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, I salute the divinity with you in you all. I am sending you all love, light, and positivity. Um, I hope that these messages was helpful. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for your likes, subscribes, your shares, your comments. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I love you all, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay, bye.